All right, this is problem number six from 2009B of the Calc AB exam. Um, and it's a table problem. So first thing we have to do is approximate a, uh, the acceleration at 36 and show our calculation. So um, we use a difference quotient. So V of 40 minus V of 32 over 40 minus 32. Uh, now I switch to an actual equal sign, plug in some values and I get 11 over 8, but I have to include units. So looking at the units of the numerator, it's meters per second, and the units of the denominator is seconds, so that's meters per second squared. Uh, if you get totally lost on that, just do meters per second per second, um, and just don't simplify it. In part B, uh, I need to use correct units to uh, explain what the integral from 20 to 40 of V of T dt is. You have to walk in knowing that the integral of velocity is displacement. So now I'm really just going to write that um, in the context of this problem. So it's the displacement in meters um, of the particle, or whatever it is that's moving, I think it's a particle, yeah, from t equals 20 to t equals 40 seconds. Uh, part B here has a bonus question, uh, which is to use a trapezoidal sum with three sub-intervals to actually approximate this definite integral. Um, so just be organized about it. So those are my three intervals, so it's 20 to 25, 25 to 32, and 32 to 40. So one half, and then um, the height is 5, and then the sum of the bases will be negative 10 plus negative 8. And then the next one, it'll be one half, and then the height is going to be 7 in this case, and then the sum of the bases, and we have that, and then one half, and the height in this case is eight, and the sum of the bases. So we have this, and I'm gonna calculate that, although you can actually leave that on the AP exam and just put the units after it. Um, the units for this are meters, so negative 75 meters, which means it's 75 meters to the left of where it started, um, assuming it's moving along the x-axis, which it is. Um, so for part C, I'm just gonna do an awful lot of writing. Uh, the question is, must it change direction? If so, on what intervals? Um, so, it definitely changes direction whenever V of T has a sign change. Um, I know V of T is continuous because V of T is differentiable. Um, you just look at the table now. So, between T equals 8 and 20, there's a sign change. And then, again, between T equals 32 and 40, there's a sign change. So, now we have to find a way to write that up. Um, so, I'm going to write V of T is continuous. And V of 20 is less than 0 whereas v of 8 is greater than 0, therefore v of t has a sign change somewhere between 8 and 20, which means that's one change of direction. Similarly, we'll do the same thing between uh, 32 and 40. Um, so v of t has to have a sign change somewhere on that interval from 32 to 40. And by this reasoning, we know for sure that the particle changed directions twice uh, it actually changed direct, uh, that's a minimum. Uh, it could have changed, you know, a thousand times. We don't really know all that much about it. All right, so just a lot, a lot of writing. Not really a hard question. And the next thing that we want to do is we're told that the acceleration is positive on the interval from 0 to 8. And if we know that, we know that V of T is increasing. That's going to be important. You know, they wouldn't tell us that if it wasn't important. So we want to know if the position at 8 is greater than 30. And we can actually figure this out by using the fundamental theorem and then a little bit of logic. So if I do the integral from 0 to 8 of v of t, that'll give me x of 8 minus x of 0, the change in position, which means that the position at 8 is going to be the position at 0 plus the integral from 0 to 8 of v of t dt. And I actually know the position at 0 is 7. Make sure you use that. If you don't use that, you're going to get this one wrong. So it's really 7 plus the integral from 0 to 8. Now let's see if we can't use the fact that V of t is increasing to make some sense. So A of t is greater than 0, um, which means that V of t is increasing, so it must be greater than or equal to 3 on that entire interval, because at 0, V of t is 3. Um, so the integral from 0 to 8 must be greater than... Um, you know, if, if it was a constant of 3. So it's got to be greater than 3 times 8, which is 24. 
And so x of 8 is greater than 7 plus 24, which is 31, which is greater than 30 meters. And therefore, yeah, it's got to be greater. And uh, that's the whole idea. So instead of doing a definite integral, um, we use a rectangle that gives a, a lower approximation of the value. And since the lower approximation is bigger than what they're saying, it must have been bigger. Um, anyway, I hope you find this helpful, and good luck.